Hey guys, what's up? This is Mel, and I'm here to talk about Bitten, episode 303, titled Right Behind You, which premiered fr Friday, February 26, 2016 on Space. My apologies for a little tongue-tied there, but uh, let's get right started with the 10-minute clock, and let's begin. So something new that we learned in this episode, basically, this episode continues with uh, Roman, the Russian alpha's search for Sasha Antonov and um, those associated with him. Um, and this episode also marks Jeremy finding out Elena's connection to Sasha Antonov, which is the fact that he is her father. Uh, we also learn a bit more about the blood feud between Roman and Sasha to the fact that it's a personal feud. It has nothing to do with pack politics. So Sasha believes that once Roman is dead or once once Roman's dead, then the Russian pack won't go after his kids. But if Sasha were to die, he believes that Roman will go after his kids and Elena if he ever finds out that she is Sasha's daughter. So... At first in the episode, we see Jeremy um, wanting to honor his word to Roman. And that is he will find Sasha Antonov and bring him to the Russian pack, which um, destroys Elena when she begs him for his help and he does give it. Only to later on have Jeremy turn the tables and side with Elena and Sasha against Roman, especially when they have Constantine, Roman's second command, and his son in their custody. So what was the most shocking moment of the episode? It has to be, for me, Jeremy's switch sides both against Elena and for Elena. At the beginning, when she's telling him that, um, that Sasha is her father and that um, their pack needs to protect them because that is her family, Jeremy says no. And later on throughout the episode, you, you hear him saying, no, I'm not going to risk everything, not a war for these people I don't know, despite Elena's connection to them, who she just found out about a few days ago. And then later on, I don't know what does it for Jeremy, or if it was his plan all along, but Jeremy switched sides and sides with Elena and Sasha, and proves to be now an enemy towards the Russian pack. So it was very, very interesting, and it surprised me that Jeremy would switch sides. I would hope he ha would side with Elena, but I'm wondering what at what point was he going to side with Elena? Like, when did he switch views on the whole situation? So top three favorite moments. First one has to be Elena beating the hell out of Constantine. She basically turned that whole sauce a hostage situation around on him. Um, initially, he had he had his hands on her with a knife to her throat, and she just turned the tides on him and beat the crap out of him until he was unconscious. And I just love that. She didn't even hesitate. She waited for the right moment, and she attacked, and she saved herself for it. I really love Elena for that. She definitely knows how to hold her own in this um, world that she lives in. Another favorite moment for me has to be that Clay and Nick want to help Elena protect the Sasha protect Sasha and his family. Although Nick has some doubts only because he's not sure if they are able to do it in the um, little amount of time that they have. While Clay wants to do it because because of Elena and those people are important to her. Another favorite moment that I found was that Alexi always brings up Elena. He's always wondering where she is. He brings up the fact that she is their sister. So I really like that. You wouldn't expect it, but I definitely like that he is more now that he knows about the sister, he doesn't want to leave her behind or he doesn't want to stop connections with her, it seems. And I really like that. I'm hoping we get to see some bonding between uh, uh, Alexi and his newfound older sister. Another favorite moment has to be Clay putting Alexi in his cocky place because Alexi, he hasn't gone through his first transformation yet. So he's saying, I'm trained, I'm ready, I'm, I can hold my own. And Clay is telling him, no, you're not. You won't even begin to know if you're ready or not until after you survive that first transformation, after you actually have all those new senses um, hitting you at full force. Because at this point, he's just slowly feeling what is to come, and he has no idea what he's in for. So I'm glad that Clay put Alexi in his place, even though uh, it scared the shit out of Alexi. But the kid needs to know, otherwise he's going to go running in head first, thinking he's ready when he's absolutely not. So hopefully he learns that lesson. Uh, top three peeve moments. Uh, the only peeve I had was that at the very end of the episode, I was given the impression that we were going to see a showdown between Jeremy and Roman. But instead, the episode just ends there with them walking to their respective cars, and that's it. And they just leave with a heated warning between them. It's like, oh, really? And then I looked at the clock, and then the time was up. I was like, oh, crap, that's really how it's going to end? I have to wait a week to see how 
what happens with that. So um, there is that. Um, also, what will I remember most when I look back on this episode? Uh, the pa- the fact that the pack stands together against uh, Roman. Um, also, Nick mentions that it's been eight months since Jeremy's new leadership tactics started kicking in. So that's a, a time indicator for us. And also can't help but mention that we got a naked Nick in the sauna. I definitely wasn't expecting that, but I definitely going to be a reminder of that too from now on. So moving on to most to random questions. Number one, do you think that Jeremy will recruit Sasha and his kids into the pack? Do you think they'll try out their theory about um, Katya turning into a successful female werewolf because her father is a werewolf as well? I hope they bring up that theory. I really do. But what do you think? Will um, Will Jeremy make that recruitment offer because Elena did mention this episode that she liked it when their pack was basically a family and not some kind of army that they're building. So hopefully maybe they will bring them in because of the fact that they are Elena's family and then you have Elena's werewolf family. So it's like, well, I guess kind of they're both the same now if you think about it. So anyways, next question. Do you think we'll see a showdown fight between Roman and either A, Elena, B, Sasha, or um, C, Jeremy? So A, Elena, B, Sasha, C, Jeremy. I'm thinking more towards Elena and Roman, kind of like how we got Elena and Malcolm in season two. But the blood feud seems more like between Sasha and Roman, but then Jeremy might step in to protect Elena, although both Jeremy and Sasha could step in to protect Elena against Roman. So really, all three of them could be viable candidates to go up against Roman. So what do you guys think? Who do you think would be the one Roman is pitted against in the final showdown. Also, next, last question. Will we see more preparations for Alexi's first transformation? I really want to see how he handles all that, and I want to see how he interprets this new world he's about to um, enter into. Uh, predictions, um, no promos. I didn't see any promos for the next episode, so my predictions are going to have to be that Elena's going to get to know more about the Antonov family, whether it's just Sasha, Alexi, or Katya, I hope she learns more about them. And maybe through Sasha, she'll learn more about her mom, too, who is unfortunately no longer with them. Um, also, I predict that the pack uh, will continue to protect the Antonov family from Roman the Russian Alpha until that so-called um, showdown happens. Um, so there's that. Um, I still think also that there's going to be some growing tensions between Jeremy and Elena when it comes to leadership styles. So um, who knows how that's going to happen. Either they're going to split off from each other or um, they're all going to come together as one pack. And also we did see in this episode that Clay and Elena um, bought a house and they're just waiting for the paperwork to be settled. So hopefully prediction wise we'll see them settling into that new home and trying to create this new life separate from the pack for themselves and that's about it guys and i got like two minutes left on the clock so what did you think about the episode did you like it was it what you expected let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear about it also don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel check out my other videos and to share this with all your other friends who like bitten remember this is the final season so what better way to watch it now or to catch up to find episodes online or however else you do that also, if you want to check out my Tumblr, link for the Bitten page I have is down below. It's not as extensive as other shows I follow, but anything Bitten that comes across my dashboard, I reblog it. So link for that will be down below. And that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate it. So sorry for the delay in videos this week. I'm trying to get right back onto it, as well as with my Tumblr behind by like a week, which I hate to do. But thank you for watching. Tune in next week to see what I have to say about the next episode. And this is Mel wishing you all a great day, great week. Wherever you are, bye for now.